continue to anticipate that ongoing increases in the target range for the federal funds rate will be appropriate in order to, to attain a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to 2% over time. Over the course of the year, financial conditions have tightened significantly in response to our policy actions. Financial conditions fluctuate in the short term in response to many factors, but it is important that over time they reflect the policy restraint that we're putting in place to return inflation to 2%. We are seeing the effects on demand in the most interest sensitive se sectors of the economy, such as housing. It will take time, however, for the full effects of monetary restraint to be realized, especially on inflation. In light of the cumulative tightening of monetary policy and the lags with which monetary policy affects economic activity and inflation, the committee decided to raise interest rates by 50 basis points today, a step down from the 75 basis point pace seen over the previous four meetings. Of course, 50 basis points is still a historically large increase, and we still have some ways to go. As shown in the SEP, the median projection for the appropriate level of the federal funds rate is 5.1% at the end of next year, a half percentage point higher than projected in September. The median projection is 4.1% at the end of 2024 and 3.1% at the end of 2025, still above the median estimate of its longer run value. 